Here goes, Inzley. <laughs> Car wash time. <laughs> yeah. Is that awesome? <laughs> yeah. We're pulling up here because we gotta we gotta vacuum it out now. With these giant vacuum cleaners. You gonna help me do that? Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of memories in this Subaru, don't we? Yeah. Where all we been with this Subaru? Well, we're gonna vacuum off. We're gonna vacuum. Up, make sure it's clean. There's lots of dirt in here. Get it all cleaned up. So we have been. I don't even know how many states with this Subaru. So we traveled and pulled the Subaru full time for about a year and a half behind our motorhome. And then once we moved to the Airstream, obviously we didn't need the Subaru anymore, but we just couldn't let it go. We just, <laughs> it gets 30 miles a gallon. The thing runs like a tank. So we just, uh, we kept it around in Cookville to use there. So we've actually had it almost three years, but we've been a lot of places in the Subaru. At one point we watched our motor home get towed away while we sat in the Subaru. Here goes, Here goes our home. Yep. This is officially weirder than when we <laughs> pulled out driving our own RV at the beginning. <laughs> Oh man, that's sad. We've been in crazy, windy, mountainous, curvy roads in the Subaru that we didn't want to take the motor home. We're gonna be driving through a million dollar highway in Colorado. I looked at videos online, checked forums, I looked at pictures. It's just not something we're ready for in our gas motor home. We've been in big cities with a Subaru. It's a bridge! We've been off-road with the Subaru. Our little Subie's really impressing me today. <laughs> We've been all over the place with this Subaru and we loved it, but it's time to let it go. But before we let it go, we gotta get cleaned up. You gonna help me get it cleaned up? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You got it? You getting it? There you go. Good job, there you go. So if you want to have a motorhome and you want to tow something behind a motorhome, in my mind, the absolute best way to do that is to tow something four down. Now you hear the term four down, basically what that means is all four wheels are on the ground. Two of them aren't on a dolly or all four aren't on a trailer, because those are your other options. And to me, the only reasons you would have a trailer or dolly are number one, if you already have a trailer or dolly, and you know, it's just, instead of spending the money to set the vehicle up to tow four down, you just use the trailer or dolly. And number two, maybe you have a vehicle you're just absolutely in love with, but it can't tow four down because all vehicles can't be pulled behind something all four down. You might think, well, I can just put it neutral or maybe it's even like a manual transmission or even if it's an automatic, you're like, I'll just throw it neutral. We'll just roll down the road. That's not the way it works. It's not that simple as far as finding something to do that. If you're towing four down, you're taking this bar. This is on, this is in your motorhome right here. And then this comes out 
and these arms extend and then they attach to these two pieces right here. And then this is your braking system you hook into here, or at least the braking system we have with the Subaru. It's a ready brake. So it's inertia based, which means when you stop, it stops. So you have a braking system as well. And so you're actually using the brakes. They're like, in our case, the brakes. Hey, Pico, get out of there. Uh, you're actually using the brakes in the Subaru. When you stop in the motorhome, the brakes that are in the tow vehicle are being used as well. In my mind, the two big downsides of towing four down, and it's, believe me, it's all pros across the board except for these two things, are number one, I think if you don't already have a trailer, it could be more expensive. You could probably buy a dolly and get a little bit cheaper than maybe finding the right vehicle and towing four down and all that. Um, and then number two, that's kind of it too. You have to find a certain vehicle that can be towed four down. If you don't have a vehicle behind your motorhome, I would go four down, like almost no question. So as far as the stuff you need if you're towing four down, Hensley. <laughs> you need a Hensley. <laughs> your mom's gonna kill me about your hair. <laughs> Let's just, um, I'm gonna gray this out. I sneaked in here. You did sneak in here, didn't you? You and the cat, the cat was in here too. So one of the downsides of four down is it does cost more money. You gotta buy the tow bar, I don't know what, 400-ish bucks. You gotta buy the braking system, 300-ish bucks. Uh, here's your electrical cable. This is for your brake lights and all that, which you'd have to have a lot of that anyways. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's right. Safety cable. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, so. So difficult. So difficult. <laughs> and then you also have to put a, a base plate under here to hold these. And then here's the electrical here. You have to have that installed. And then here's the brake. And it sounds like a lot of stuff. It may even seem overwhelming. And it, it is. It, it's, it's some stuff to get hooked up. But again, so much better if you're doing this, especially now, you're going on a weekend trip. Yeah, just, just hook up the dolly or the trailer or whatever. But if you're doing this full time, it's nice. We're going to have to sell the Subaru. Do you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't, we don't need three cars. We do need. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we no. do. Yes, no. yes, 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 no. yes, yes, no. yes. No, 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 no. But yeah, I'm including all this stuff with a Subaru when I sell a Subaru, so it should be should be good to go as far as the tow vehicle. So one thing our outdoor space is missing that I wish it had uh, is some sort of water. <laughs> like just even a pond, a creek, a river would be awesome. Um, but so we don't have any water out here. And Hensley loves water. Let's go underwater. You ready to show them how to go underwater? So instead of having a river or a pond, we got this. Because I was looking at like kiddie pools and stuff like that, but I thought, ah, you know what? Let's. And I thought, why not have it heated? So this is kind of like a kiddie pool, isn't it, Hensley? Yeah. Except this kiddie pool. Is actually heated. Like we can fit seven kids in. Here. Seven kids in there? I bet you probably could. So I get it. You're probably thinking what I thought when I first heard of an inflatable hot tub. That's like the worst idea ever. <laughs> like that's all. It's gonna get punctured. It's gonna look terrible, and uh, it doesn't look aesthetically awesome. But Hensley loves it, and we haven't gotten to really try it out too much yet. But I think we're gonna like it too. It's got an LED light, it's got filters, it's got the whole deal. You know, you control the temperature on it just like a normal hot tub, uh, whatever you wanna set on it like that. 300 bucks. I thought, man, for 300 bucks, like, how hard could it be to get our money out of this for 300 you bucks? You want me go underwater, guys? <laughs> I do wanna see, yeah, let's see you go underwater. What do you got? Go. <laughs> Whoa! Good job. Woo! Oh! What? That was a, lot of water. a wet high five. That was a wet high five, that's right. Coolest thing probably is that it runs on regular 110. Like I don't need, you know, 220, anything crazy to like heat this thing up because it's so small. So Coleman makes this and it's actually made to like inflate and deflate and that kind of thing. And you can take it to campgrounds. I don't, I don't know what kind of looks you would get if you just pull it to a campground with this thing out, but um, pretty cool. I know Marissa's super excited about selling the Subaru. <laughs> uh, no. No, you she's not. This, the Subaru. We had lots of things I've bought and you're like, oh, then we get it. I get it emotionally. I'm not going to say what, but. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. You think I'd be emotionally attached to the van? I probably would. Just 
Oh yeah, if you cry, we ever sell the van and she I, cries. I don't think I'll cry. I said emotional emotionally attached, not cry. I did cry when you sold our last Jeep. Yeah, so <laughs> I so mean I, the Subaru <laughs> took us to a lot of cool places and Oh, a lot of memories with it. Man. I know, it's more about the memories than it mm. is. You know, when we're sticks and bricks and our regular schedule and we had vehicles, it still hurt to sell those, but like you're just kinda doing but when you like some of the places you get to go full time RVing with these vehicles, it's tough when you sell them. It really is. They become uh, like a part of your mm -hmm. journey. Yeah, part like of, a part of the family yeah. almost. So the first Jeep I got, two wheel drive. Don't ever do that guys. It's like, what do I say, ballerina shoes on a football player or something, <laughs> I don't know. We had, actually had people gasp at our talk at RV Entrepreneur Summit when we mentioned that we got a two, two wheel drive Jeep. But didn't well, we didn't think we would off-road. We plan on towing yeah, it, but, but we we're like, thought, oh, we're not gonna off-road off in it. And yeah, and so it was a good deal. Save us money, but. <laughs> We didn't know it could not be towed, so definitely look at that first. <laughs> yeah, I did not make that mistake this time. Uh, this it's another four-door Jeep this time, soft top instead of hard top. Our last one was a hard top. Now one big difference. So if you're looking for a vehicle to tow behind a motorhome, there's a lot of different vehicles you can get, and it does get tricky. Uh, the one link I'd recommend, and I'll put this in description, RimcoTowing.com, and they'll list what can be towed for down, what can be towed with, what you can do is you can add um, like a cooler kind of thing that'll let you cool the transmission and still tow some stuff that's technically not supposed to be four down. Start there, but then double check with the manual. Like don't just yeah. take that site for what it is. So a Jeep is probably the most popular vehicle for towing. Uh, now with a soft top, I don't know. We've would, seen it done. We've seen it done. And I've actually talked to somebody personally, I asked and they said that it's, towed great mm -hmm. so I mean it would be a personal preference we didn't know that that you could tow a soft top but it, it's gonna put more wear and tear on it mm -hmm. um, I would have to think you're not getting quite you got a little more drag and all that kind of stuff but it is gonna be a lighter weight so if you've got a gas motorhome weight is kind of the name of the game that's the issue and that's why I did tow the two-wheel drive Jeep to Florida because she said we are taking this to Florida Nathan and this is before we we're filming so I had to get on my back and take off uh, the drive shaft every time and put it back on so that we didn't burn up the transmission. So we got it down to Florida, but at the same time, something else we learned, not just don't buy two-wheel drive, but that Jeep was heavy. I mean, it's 4,500 pounds. So we have a 5,000 pound hitch. Technically, we could tow it, but it's just a lot of weight behind a gas motorhome. So if you got a gas motorhome, a four-door Jeep can be done, but keep that in mind, it's a lot of weight. So that Jeep was 4,500 pounds. The Subaru is about 3,000 pounds. 1,500 pounds may not sound like a lot. Well, that sounds like a lot. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> you can really notice that behind the motorhome. We notice an immediate difference behind the motorhome with the Subaru compared to the Jeep as far as weight, back, especially when you're going down mountains and that kind of stuff. Now, one good thing about the Jeep, one good thing about the Subaru, Subaru's all-wheel drive. This is four-wheel drive. I think if you're gonna get one, having all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is really nice. Mm -hmm. Some good things about having a little compact car though was if you like to explore in cities like mm. that came in helpful for parking garages or finding those little tight parallel parking spots. Mm. We yeah. got really good gas mileage with the Subaru it's, and I like having a little car that mm -hmm. I could drive to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I because there are times when we're out traveling that I want to go and do some things, maybe go to the store. And so if you're not comfortable driving like something big, then maybe think about having a little small tow vehicle too. So that was always something that I yeah. enjoyed about the Subaru. So how's uh, month one been with the, with the baby? <laughs> It's spicy right now. He is. He's about ready to lay down. Oh, we got another one too. All right. <laughs> Did you dry off? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dry off just a little bit more and you come in. <laughs> Can't believe it's actually already been a month. That's so crazy. Things are a little more interesting. Are you getting fussy? Are you getting sleepy? Oh. Did you dry off? Yes. All right, come on. You can come in. Mm. Hensley. Ugh. Whatever. Here, go drive. Here, go drive some more. Yep. I can't believe it's been a month. It feels like maybe because it's like one continuous long day when you don't sleep. <laughs> Forgotten how hard the sleepless nights were. Well, it's funny, like, funny for you guys, maybe not funny for us, but like when Marissa was pregnant, she couldn't sleep at night. She was restless. She was moving around. So, like, as soon as the sun started coming up, that's when she would have her best sleep. And that's. Pretty much how this is gone. It's his, how Judah likes His best it. nap of the day is when the sun's coming up 
He sleeps great during the day all day. But buddy, once that sun starts going down, he's ready to play. He's wide awake. <laughs> sleeps awesome in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we just slept during the day, we'd be good to go. So we've been back here at this spot. <laughs> what are you eating? Broccoli. Broccoli? You just grabbed it and went for it? <laughs> so we've been back here at this spot for two or three weeks, I guess. And then we spent the first week with JJ, like still in the in the driveway up there. You enjoy being back here in the woods, Hensley? Has it been good? Yeah, yeah. say we love our spot. We love this spot. <laughs> okay, lunch is gonna have to wait. Brother needs a nap. It's been a part of all the changes. Finding our groove. Um, we remember with Hensley, we hit the road when Hensley was one. And so she was still in that taking multiple naps a day thing. So we went out and explored. We only get to explore for like a few hours. And I know we're gonna be back to that with JJ for now. But right now the goal is just to get him sleeping through a six hour stretch at night, you know, in the next maybe a few weeks, something like that. Um, we're not trying to do that yet. He needs to have a sleep, but um, eventually we'd like to get him six, eight weeks where he's, we get a little bit of a stretch at night. It would be just glorious. <laughs> we're just taking a day at a time. Just trying to figure out our groove, figure out our style um, before we go back out. And maybe that'll be a part of determining what route we do and what kind of pace we're gonna have. We just don't own a lot of that stuff. We're just totally trying to figure it out. I think our van can be overwhelming, sometimes making all these decisions. Um, and then you get down to like, okay, we're gonna get a motor home, we're gonna tow something. And it's like, well, what do we tow? You're like, well, let's just tow the car we got. Well, it can't be towed four down. Well, did we get a dolly? It's just yeah. like a lot of decisions. Uh, we've had, you know, the fifth wheel, the travel trailer, the motor home with the vehicle behind it. Um, I will say, if you're starting from scratch and you know you're going motor home, I think if at all possible, towing four down is really great. It's more money and expense and time to set it up. But I think once it's set up, I think we enjoyed, like, mm -hmm. it was easy. Like, I'd go out there by myself and do yeah. it super fast. And if it was both of us, it was like even faster. You ready to say goodbye to the Subaru? Can we do that this video? Uh, don't tell Hensley. I kind of brought I it up. Her. I told her. I know, she gets really sad. Yeah. But I, I know. She's like, let's just keep all three. <laughs> She's like me, <laughs> she has a hard time. <laughs> letting go but i mean she's pretty much grown up in the subaru you know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean yeah since she was what like one and a half yeah yeah she's been in that longer than anything else uh -huh. uh -huh. we'd come back in town and we'd have to take the subaru to like run errands she'd get so excited she loved the subaru but she's excited she, about the jeep too she's always she is loved. the van's third i think the van's last <laughs> yeah. i don't know why the van gets such a hard time like i like uh, the van you do like the van I mean, it's a little creepy but it works it's very functional well, the van's been good the subaru was great but hopefully it will fit somebody else's lifestyle mm -hmm. For, for what they're wanting to do with their family journey. And I know some of you guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe have wondered about the comments, why they're off. Uh, we have not turned those off. Um, we have no control over that. YouTube has decided to turn those off. We're hoping they're gonna be back soon. Don't know when that'll be. Uh, but until then, uh, you can comment if you're on YouTube, you can go to our community tab. We'll have a link to that. You can go to Instagram, you can go to Facebook, Patreon, lots of other places to join the conversation until they figure out what they're um, figuring out. Yes, because we so. definitely love hearing from you guys, mm -hmm. and so make sure to to have your comments posted there. Yeah, we'll get them back. I think they'll be back at some point, but we just don't have don't really have control over it. So that's our journey for today. If you want to check out more info about the Subaru, lessjunkmorejourney.com/slash Subaru. But until next time, we will catch you guys later.